Rub up your engines! Yeah, Scotty's got his hand on a Tesla Model Y. You'd say, Scotty would never buy one? Well, guess what? It's a rental car. Believe it or not, here on the East Coast, there's a company called TeslaRents.com, and you can rent them. Let's say you want their Speed Screamer. Yes, it does zero to 60 in two point something seconds. For a mere $269 a day, you can rent one of those. And this particular brand new Model Y comes from TeslaRents.com. Pretty cool. Interesting idea. I'd never buy one, I'm too cheap. But rent one, not that bad of a deal. And this particular one is owned by a German gentleman and he uses it some of the time. Some of the time he rents it out to pay it. Just like people with their yachts. You can rent a yacht for the weekend. Or in my case, you can rent a Tesla for the week. But if you're even too cheap to rent one, go to a charity auction and you can have a chance to win one of these Model Ys. You'd also win $10,000 cash, a Tesla wall charger, and two man move electric bicycles. Well, how do you do it? Well, you can just go to charitystars.com slash Scotty Kilmer. It's a charity for MS. I had a friend who died at MS, very nasty disease. I am not charging anything for promoting these people. I like promoting real charities that help people out. The charity itself is called Center Without Walls if you want to donate directly. And the auction also helps out CAN, Cure Addiction Now. My brother died of addiction. I love helping out these causes. They're helping people out just by standing here talking and driving around in this Model Y. Now, just to be full disclosure here, they did offer me money to make a video for their cause. And they said, I don't take money for making videos. I don't even take it for people to build products. I'm certainly not gonna take any money from a charity. I'm doing this all free because I think those are two really good causes and somebody's gonna end up winning one of these things. So let's get into the car itself. It's a brand new 2021 model. Why? You're not gonna win this one because this is a rental one. You're gonna get a brand new one, non-used. Now you're gonna win a fancy Model Y. It's the one that has the dual motor system and all-wheel drive. Now if you're into dark, gray, black, whatever you wanna call it, check it out. This is one dark car. Of course you can make things brighter, but this guy really likes dark stuff. Check it out. Kinda like a spaceship. And there's tons of room in the back. I feel like I'm in a spaceship. Watch this. Push open. The trunk opens, and even has a little warning light that's open, then when you close it, space shuttle, ready for takeoff. Now be forewarned, you better be into technology if you get one of these, cause check it out. It doesn't have a key key, it's got a card key. Then you have to put the pin number in to drive it. It's ready to drive. Here we go, here's the gear shift. It looks like a turn signal. Really nice viewed mirror, I do have to say. You got a good picture all around. Talk about quiet. But let's test it out on a bumpy road. We got some real bumpy roads here in Rhode Island. Let's see what it feels like. It stops the bump. It's okay, but I'm not overly impressed by the shock system, truthfully. My wife's Lexus is smoother than this and it's 19 years old. One thing that's cool is this, you take your foot off the gas, Look, I'm not touching the brake. The car has braked itself. The regenerative brake in these cars works quite well. Maybe too well. It stopped well before the stop sign. Now realize that this is an all wheel drive. It's got two motors in the front and the back. So it's got a lot of power. Let's see what it does on our little straightaway. All right, we're going zero. Let's floor it and see what it does. It is like a roller coaster ride. This baby's got acceleration, there's no doubting that. And it does have an insanely tight steering system. You turn that wheel a little, this baby's like a race car. I've driven Formula One cars, got pretty close handling of that. It's got immaculate handling. There's no arguing with that. Although, as I say, the ride's a little bit rough for me. But on the other hand, the handling is so immaculate, I'd live with the somewhat bumpy ride on rough roads. Now, my wife, that's another story. She probably wouldn't like it. But if you like quiet, this thing's quiet. And the seats are very comfy. Now, of course, all kinds of controls. You put the home screen. You can get all kinds of stuff. You can adjust the mirrors, the steering wheel, the window lock, your display brightness. You can make it brighter or dimmer. You can mess with just about everything everything on these. It takes a while getting used to this turn signal shifter. I'm like, where's park? Well, when you go here, there's park. You push that, then it goes into park. Now I just have to figure out how to turn the thing off. <laughs> Like I say, if you're not into electronics and gizmos, don't buy one of these cars. Well, I looked it up on the internet and it says put it in park, which I have, then open the door. There's no door handle, but there's a button. It claims that'll turn it off. Let's see if that worked. Well, yes, indeed, it seemed to work because when I open the door, there's no power steering now, meaning the vehicle is turned off. There's also buttons you can push on the dash. Let me tell you, if one of these things ever breaks, I'm glad it's not gonna be me who's fixing them. 
<laughs> I can just imagine the things that can go wrong with this. And for those of you who regularly lose your car keys, don't lose your little card. I'd say get a few of them, put them in good places. There's a lot of room in one of these babies. Look at all this space. There's a lot of leg room there, comfortable cars. I'll give them that. Big old trunk too. Now technically this is a small crossover SUV. Only this is the dual motor, so it's got motor front and back, and it's extremely fast. It goes zero to 60 in three and a half seconds, and has a top speed that's limited to 150 miles an hour. Now they claim it has a range of 303 miles. This one seems to go about 280 or so miles. And the dual electric motors put out 450 horsepower. And of course, since it's electric horsepower, it's instantaneous. It's always there. It's not like a gasoline engine that you have to rev it up, and the horsepower is coming at higher RPMs. These are instant 450 horsepower. Now the battery, which is on the bottom of the car, it weighs a whopping 1,200 pounds. The one disadvantage of having big electric cars, they have big, heavy electric batteries. Now I asked the owner about range and recharging, and he said it was about half full coming here. He went to a Tesla supercharge station, and it took about 25 minutes to put in a half charge. You gotta plan this ahead. It's gonna take some time. Big powerful batteries take a long time to recharge. That's just how it is in the electric car world. The compact crossover, man, this baby's got space. If this wasn't enough, of course, you can put the seats down if you want, but there's even room under here. Electric cars have an awful lot of space. Since they don't have engines and transmissions, they got space in the front, too. Kind of like a Volkswagen Beetle. Not a particularly large amount of space, just like the old Beetle. But there's space nevertheless. You can put a good cooler in there. But you can hear when I close the front trunk, batteries weigh so much, they got to compensate to get rid of weight. Not the most solid construction. Now, this is a brand new car, but check it out. Here's the passenger side. Look at the size of the gap here. For the driver's side, it's almost touching. It isn't built all that well in terms of fit. You would never see such a wide gap from one side to the other in, say, a Lexus. And of course, they have gimmicks like these flush door handles that you push and then it pops up. But even then, you still gotta kinda reach in here and grab out, which is not that comfortable. You would've thought with all this technology, hey, they might've thought of something that popped out a little bit better or had something to grab other than having to stick your hand in there like you're jerry-rigging something. But I do have to say they're fun to drive around you know it's weird sitting behind a wheel where there's nothing in front of you but this fake wood veneer stuff everything is on a giant screen you can open the trunk close the trunks do everything on the screen so truly you'd have to call this a minimalist car obviously that was designed there's nothing here most of it's very minimal it's a good thing there's a large backup screen to look at because look at the rear window it has a very restricted view when you're driving on a highway you're not seeing behind you all that well they went for a cool look but making that cool look makes a very limited view when you're driving a car out the back now i do have to say it was fun driving this thing around heck i didn't buy it you can just run them for a couple of days like i said if you want to try to win this model y plus ten thousand dollars plus a couple of electric bikes just check out charitystars.com slash scotty kilmer they've got rules for the contest you can buy tickets you can even try to get in without buying it's one of those gambling laws i believe so even if you don't buy tickets you get a chance to win it so they're fair and square about that but really come on this is two good charities one for ms and one for addicted people i'm gonna donate them some money anyway i don't care i don't care about winning the car i got cars coming on my ears anyways but it's a good cause buy some tickets support them who knows you might end up winning one of these things because they really are a hoot to drive if you got a lead foot like me and here's some bonus questions and answers. Ready from Canada says, runaway diesels. I work in the oil field and have a positive air shutdown system on my diesel. But I always wondered, what are the chances of modern diesels running away with constant intake exhaust air gas monitoring and ECM controlled intake valve? Pretty much almost zero chance. The old ones ran away. They were mechanical. And if they got going too fast, the little spinning centrifuge that's supposed to shut them down didn't work. They would just start sucking air in and they'd run away. And they could also run backwards because they're diesels and they could end up sucking air in from the exhaust and throwing exhaust out the air intake, which of course, if the engine's running backwards, it would destroy the engine. But the modern ones with all their controls, I've never seen that happen. Now, if anybody out there has, please, tell me i'd like to know about it but with all the controls that modern diesels have you really don't have to worry about runaway diesels and you really don't have to worry about the things running backwards either so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell